Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new Ishing TX805 5.8 GHz 40 channels VTX. In this video I'm going to go over its features, measure its output strength, and then I'm going to head outdoors and test it out. Inside the box along with the VTX we get a simple linear antenna, the user manual, and also an M6 to SMA or RPSMA antenna connector depending on the version that you got. The TX05 features an M6 antenna connector, it has an onboard microphone, supports smart audio, and has a selectable output strength of 25, 200, 600, and 800 millivolts. On the bottom of the VTX, you can find its connectors. The first one is the smart audio port, then we've got plus 5 volts and ground for the camera, video in, ground, and then the VCC. The working voltage is between 7 to 24 volts. The weight of the TX805 without the silicon wires is about 7.33 grams, and its dimensions are 36 by 22.1 by 7.6 millimeters. In addition, on top of the VTX, we can find two mounting holes. The distance between them is 30.5 millimeters, so it's going to be very easy to mount it on top of your stack. Now, when I first saw the TX805, it looked very familiar, and that's because it looks pretty much like the FX2 Ultimate Mini, but these VTXs are not identical, they don't share the same components, and in addition, the maximum output strength of the TX805 is 800 mW, and the maximum output strength of the FX2 Ultimate Mini is 1200 mW. In addition, the FX2 Ultimate Mini has a 12 volt output pad, whereas it's not present on the TX805. Configuring the VTX output strength and frequency can be done using this button over here, and then all these LEDs are going to indicate the frequency and output strength. So just refer to the user manual, and then it's going to tell you how to do it. Of course, the preferred way is to use the smart audio pad. All you have to do is just to connect the smart audio pad to a free UART TX port on your flight controller, and then under beta flight, configure this port to use TBS smart audio protocol, and after that, you'll be able to configure the VTX using beta flight's OSD. Now let's measure the output strength. When it's set to 25 milliwatt, I'm getting 25 milliwatts. When it's set to 200 milliwatts, I'm getting 300 milliwatts. At 600 milliwatts, I'm getting 580 milliwatts. And the result is the same when setting it to 800 milliwatts, so it doesn't seem to affect it. I did test it a few times, also with different channels and different bands, and the result is the same. So I'm not sure if this unit is defective and the 800 milliwatt option is not working, or maybe when set through beta flight, it is going to work. So I'm going to test it again after it's going to be connected to a flight controller, and I will let you know if the result is going to be different. In terms of pricing, the TX805 is currently being sold for only $16, so this is a very budget-friendly VTX. The next thing I'm going to do is to head outdoors and test it out using the different output strength settings, and then you'll be able to decide if you want to get the TX805, or it's better to invest another $9 and get the FX2 Ultimate Mini, which is a little bit more powerful. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.